the broken polio cycle. Mother Nature had a way of keeping antibodies in the human race against polio by nursing to deliver the antibodies. Nursing delivers antibodies, offering protection during infection. So here you have my little stencil of a mom nursing. She's passing on her antibodies. My little schematic with the three rings here. And the child gets the antibodies inside them. And then when she comes in contact with the virus, creates her own antibodies. And then she grows up to pass on those antibodies to her child. Now, the vaccination way is the opposite. It, it goes backwards. The way of nature is to give the antibodies first and then the infectious microbe. And the vaccines give the microbe first, which force the body to produce antibodies. And so the oral polio drops is what they did, and it gave several strains repeatedly, and the body had a window of time to create antibodies, exactly two days, 48 hours, to create enough antibodies to fight the virulent strains that rise up because the dominant one becomes the, the lead one um, and they repeat this several times. Repeatedly a two, four, six months, 12 months and each time the one of them will become the dominant strain. So what happened was that post-slavery situation in America when they no longer had slaves to do their work, they replaced them with women as low wage. And then women were replaced by the bottle. Um, because formula was discovered in Europe in 1870 and quickly made its way over to America. The first epidemic was in Vermont in 1894. Um, and by 1940, two-thirds of mothers were not nursing their children. They were bottle feeding them formula because they were told that was better anyways. Um, now, not only is there no colostrum in formula, but there's also emulsifiers. Uh, the colostrum would have the floral seeds that they need for the intestinal tract to absorb nutrients and keep out bad microbes. Uh, on top of that, when you throw in emulsifiers, which are coagulants that, that help oil and water mix and keep these things in suspension, it makes the gut permeable to bacteria. And with the microbiome dysbiosis in the gut on top of that, now we have a problem. Um, because normally with polio, there's no symptoms for 90% of the people that get it don't know it. 10% uh, will have fevers, and then there'll be uncommon complications in 0.04%. Um, so what happens over here is you have its tropism is that the virus likes the gut, and if everything's okay over there, it'll just stay in the gut. If things are problematic in the gut, macrophages are showing up, and when they do that, the virus moves in. Um, it will come out in these little vesicles, the little viruses, and then they'll enter into the macrophages, will engulf them, and they'll get inside them and get delivered to the CNS, which is its third favorite place. Um, but only when there's a problem or something that goes on to make an uncommon complication occur in a common infection. So they came up with the vaccine in 1952 because Henrietta Lacks died in 1951 from the most aggressive cancer on earth. Hence the HeLa cells was from her name, HeLa Henrietta Lacks. Um, there's my rendition of her HeLa cells and the virus. Uh, now you can grow tons of virus uh, for vaccine products because you've got host cells that are cloning themselves infinitely and have been cloning themselves ever since and have taken over every lab in the process. Which brings us back to what they're doing today because the OPV, this live virus infection, worked very well to make sure that everybody was infected and producing antibodies. Um, but these, because they put it through so many hosts so many times for so many years, um, 
they ended up creating so many mutants, they started to decide, well, maybe we better go back to the IPV. This was the decision they made in 2000. And IPV, the problem with this, the reason they canned it immediately was because it had phenol in it, which comes from petroleum, and the body does not like that injected in the body. Um, and it has a short shelf life anyways, it only lasts three years, it does not create a permanent immunity. Um, so what they're going to do, the solution is to give the IPV first and then the OPV. Um, and the IPV is imitating the mother nursing and the OPV is imitating the virus that's entered into the child. And hence we are trying to imitate mother nature ever since we broke the cycle of polio. Thank you.